Okay, so this rock is called High Tormo or Tormo Alto. I'm going to shoot two exposures, one at a fifteenth of a second, which will get me enough detail in the shadows. So today we are at Ciudad Encantada, which is Enchanted City. It's a kind of a park with these amazing naturally eroded rock formations. Now you can't just come in, in here at any time, you can only come in when it's open, you do have to pay to come in, five euros. There's a three kilometre walk around. It does mean I'm not shooting at sunrise or sunset. But we're here in the morning and the sun's relatively low because we're sort of in early November so even late morning the sun will still be quite low. Already seen a few of the rock formations. I'm not going to photograph all of them because although they're all amazing I don't think they're all necessarily that photogenic. But hopefully there'll be at least one or two that uh, grab me to take some pictures of. I hope you enjoyed this video as part of my series from Cuenca in Castilla Mancha. And if you do and you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Anyway, we'll carry on having a look around and see what we can find. Okay, so this rock is called High Tormo or Tormo Alto. I'm shooting it from a reasonably low point of view to include some of the rocks here in the foreground in the scene. It also adds quite a nice perspective to it. The light's coming in from the side and illuminating things nicely. I'm using some trees on either side to frame it. Got the 16 to 35 lens on at probably about 26, 27 millimetres. No filters. I don't want to use a circular polarizer because I'm afraid of the uh, effect it might have on the sky. And I'm going to focus stack this because the rocks in the foreground are pretty close. can't find a name for this one. We've looked on the map, looked for some signboards. If I do manage to find a name, I'll title it. 
but it's quite an impressive looking shape, almost like an anvil type of shape. I'm shooting it with a 16 to 35 lens all the way out at 35 mil. There's no real foreground interest here, it's just a bit of grass. The light's coming through from that side, striking one side, creating some contrast and textures. Okay, so I'm focusing on the rock itself, pretty much filling the frame with it. A little bit of blue sky and some nice clouds behind. F11, 180th of a second, ISO 64, no filters. We're in a formation called the Convent, and there's a tunnel through the rocks here. Um, my first thought was to shoot through and get the background in there that's, that's through there, but the background's a bit messy, lots of sort of bushes, and it's not very, not very pleasant. But just taking a step back, and what I've got is this beautiful glow coming through then the dark rocks. So I'm just setting up and doing a shot here. Uh, basically 35 millimeters. I've got the, the tunnel basically slightly down the frame and slightly to the right of the frame, but it puts the, the, the hottest part, if you like, a little bit to the left of the frame. But it's got a nice glow coming through. A lot of contrast in this scene. I'm going to shoot two exposures, one at a fifteenth of a second, which will get me enough detail in the shadows and one at yeah one at a 60th of a second which will preserve detail in the highlights and then just blend them later this will be an easy blend because there's nothing moving in this scene This one is called the bears. Two bears coming in together, I guess. I've decided to shoot this wide angle with, with including all of the tree. So I'm shooting at 16 mil and I have got the camera angled up a bit. So that tree is leaning in, but I can correct that in post. 16 mil, F11, focused on the rocks. 1 60th of a second. Easy.
Okay, we are now at the end of Ciudad Encantada, or Enchanted City. It's a beautiful place. I mean, all of the like official rock formations are beautiful and there's a lot of unofficial ones that are also beautiful. Um, not all of them are photogenic, but uh, hopefully I've managed to capture a few shots of those that are. And I'm going to wrap this video up now. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider hitting the thumbs up, give it a like, or a share on social media, or both. And uh, don't forget about the uh, subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of the place and the images and the video. Comments down below. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So, thank you very much. And until the next video, bye. Not a massive amount of water, but a little bit. Managed to get the shot. Everything, including me, is soaked from spray from that waterfall.